Hello Cloud Gurus and welcome to AWS This Week, where we find out what AWS have been up to in the past seven days. And there have been some awesome announcements this week. EC2 now has a global view, QuickSight Q is generally available, Amazon Connect gets a few updates, and I have a few other little updates to talk about as well. It's AWS This Week with me, Nick Triantafilou. All right, kicking it off this week is one of the best additions to the AWS web console in a long, long time. It's Amazon EC2 Global View, where you can now view your AWS resources, such as instances, VPCs, subnets, security groups, and volumes across all of your AWS regions in the same place. Anyone who's ever used EC2 will surely tell you that to know which region you have EC2 instances running in, you usually have to log into the console and change region 21 times to find them all. Or write your own script to find them all using the AWS CLI or API. Well, no longer is that required. Global View can be accessed right now from the EC2 and VPC consoles. You are even able to search across your, all your resources by resource ID or tags, and you can even filter resources by region and type. As I mentioned earlier, it's available right now for your instances, VPCs, subnets, security groups, and volumes, and hopefully AWS will expand this to a lot more services soon. Next up, Amazon QuickSight Q is now generally available. Q is a machine learning powered natural language capability that allows business users to ask questions about their data in everyday language and get answers in seconds. For example, you can simply type what is our year over year growth rate and QuickSight will give you an instant visualization. This is very cool. Previously, when you couldn't find an answer to a question from your data dashboard, you would have to submit ad hoc requests and it could take weeks to get a response. This week, Amazon Connect Wisdom has also been made generally available. This is a service that allows agents to access information they need to solve their customer issues while they're actively speaking to the customer. Call centers often use knowledge management systems and document repositories, which can make it quite difficult to find answers while they're speaking to the customer, leading to poor customer service. Amazon Connect Wisdom allows agents to search across multiple connected repositories from their desktop to find answers quickly. And when you use it in conjunction with contact lens for Amazon Connect, you can even leverage machine learning powered speech analytics to automatically detect customer issues during calls and recommend solutions in real time to the agents who can then help the customer. That is very awesome. All right, a few mini updates to finish off this week's episode. The Amazon Genomics CLI is now generally available. It's an open source tool for genomics and life science customers to process genomics data at petabyte scale on AWS. Amazon SES is now available in the Asia Pacific Osaka region. And AWS have announced the availability of Microsoft Windows Server 2022 images on Amazon EC2. Now, before I finish up, I'd just like to mention our SysOps admin live stream is now available on YouTube and our platform. And this was a session where our resident experts went through a bunch of exam questions you may encounter in the AWS SysOps certification exam. So it's really useful for anyone looking to achieve that certification soon. If you want to view it on our platform, don't forget you can sign up for a free plan to check it out and also get access to all of our other web series as well as different courses and quizzes each month. All right, that's all for me this week. Keep being awesome cloud gurus and I'll see you next time.